included townspeople, community organizations, businesses, Lauren's family, friends, teammates, classmates, and the Hopkinton School District Administration and the High Hopkinton High School Athletics and Facilities staff. I thank you all so very, very much. Couldn't have been done without you. Our project goal was to upgrade Lawrence Field to the standard of all other fields at Hopkinton High. I called Amy and Lauren's sister, and she offered to come with me, so she and Mike and I went over to Kerrigan Park on that evening. I talked about fundraising, and Amy talked about what it was like to be Lauren's sister. It was amazing. She talked about Christmas morning in the Anderson household. She talked about the fact that she was the big sis and Lauren was the little sis, but it should have been the other way around. That she learned so much from her sister and loved her so much. I think she touched the players as they were listening to her because when they went on the field to get ready to play the game, we heard the sound in the background and we couldn't make out what they were saying. And so we turned around and got louder and louder and louder and they were chanting, sparkle, 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 sparkle. It was awesome. Very, a very special moment in the project. I think maybe a sign. On the agreed date, Kathy arrived punctually. The business manager and I initially were somewhat unaware of the meeting's purpose. And so we chatted pleasantly for a little bit with Kathy. And then Kathy, ever prepared, slid a folder across the table. It contained Lauren's story, Lauren's beautiful smile, and Kathy's dream of remembering Lauren Sparkle and restoring Field 6 in Lauren's honor. In my mind, and I'm sure in the mind of the Director of Finance, was another item in that folder, a really big price tag. Surely, Kathy Kilda's goal was what some might have understatedly called ambitious. And honestly, I thought to myself, and I was keeping the words in the bubble above my head, how is she ever going to raise that money? Kathy confidently described launching social media campaigns and using several media outlets, our friends at HCAM and the Hopkinton Independent, reaching out to family, friends, Lauren's former classmates, businesses, to spread the word about the Lauren Anderson rededication event and fundraiser. And still I thought, she's never going to do it. Well, look around you this morning. You see two new dugouts, a restored scoreboard, all new fencing, cleared brush, and a superintendent with egg on her face. <laughs> I'd like to use my few minutes today to do a few things. First, I want to be Hi. sure to recognize our fearless leader, Kathy, Ka Kathy Kilda. <laughs> Kathy gives credit very, very freely, and she takes none for herself. But without Kathy, we would not be celebrating this success today. Thank you, Kathy, so very much for leading this team. Second, I want to surround Lauren's entire family with our collection of love and admiration. I hope that seeing this outpouring for Lauren proves that she will never be forgotten. To Lauren's mom, Ricky, I want to make sure that you know this. You made a difference. Your capacity, especially as you faced such great sadness, to make others feel cared and loved had an immeasurable impact on me and on countless others. I love you. For their generous donations of time, talent, and treasure, I would like to thank the 26.2 Foundation, American Climbers Tree Service, Hopkinton High School Boosters Club, Hopkinton Parks and Rec, Hopkinton Little League, and Western Nurseries. Kathy Kilduff led the two-year effort to restore this field in memory of Lauren. Kathy recruited and managed a team of volunteers who oversaw the fundraising.
missing and kept track of the countless other details to make this happy. Marie Eldred developed and drove all communications and media, all done from South Carolina to boot. Um, and he can't be here today because he's on a long weekend with his family. But Ryan Fowler negotiated each purchase, managed the schedule, and worked tire tirelessly with the Hopkinton High School facilities team to install the upgrade. I think it looks great. Unbelievable. <laughs> And I know I'm not saying thank you to everybody, but thank you to everybody. If I've forgotten anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lauren loved playing softball. She loved the camaraderie, the teamwork, learning to win and lose graciously, accepting disappointment, dedication to the field, dedication to the game, and goal setting. She would be so pleased to see this beautiful, newly renovated softball field. And although this is to honor Lauren, I hope all the female athletes here and in the future of Hopkinton High School will enjoy playing softball as much as she did. Thank you for coming today. It is wonderful to know that Lauren is still remembered after all these years. And this field upgrade proves that she will always remember, that we will always remember her sparkle. Sparkle on three, one, two, three, sparkle! Oh, you know this one, but in a minute. Yeah. Yay! Woo! Is this the first pitch? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Just practicing. Just practicing. Yeah. Practicing. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Way go! <laughs> you gotta like stay down on it with the turf.